is absolutely crazy. <laughs> but you know what? I love her. That's it, that's it. I just want to give honor to these two wonderful, I mean wonderful yes. leaders. Come on. Pastor, when I first heard you years ago, overseer, I told my wife, I said, wow, babe, she is a gangster. <laughs> but it's something in her that I needed to hear because when I first heard her, I said, you know what? She's been in the place where I've been. And can't nobody else touch me the way that she did because I know they have not been anywhere. Pastor, I thank God for allowing you to see what's in me when I can't see what's in me. Mm -hmm. You better go ahead. Thank God believing in me when I don't believe in myself. Yes. Uh, yes. 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 Jesus. 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 Yes. <coughs> thank God that you told me every time hell was breaking into my marriage that everything was going to be all right. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Jesus. All right. I can recall when the devil said, you know what, I got to end this marriage. Mm. And pastor, I can say with my whole heart, pray. Yes. And God said, you know what? What I have joined together, I will let nothing come on, come on, come on. separate That's it. those two. Mm. That's it. All right. Pastor, thank God for your praise. Yes. Thank God for your praise. And Pastor Jamie. Jesus. Wow. I was in prison when I lost my dad. I never saw my dad. And as a young boy, I always felt that wrong people couldn't tell me nothing. Or I didn't want to respect wrong people. But Pastor, I want to tell you, when I look at you, I, I raise a question. I want to know if my dad was like you. Mm. Mm. I want to know if my dad had love for people that he didn't know. Mm. I want to know did my father take his children out to the park mm. and when I got connected with you pastor I said um, pastor can we go white riding hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and um, he said yes son we can go white riding I said, thank you, Jesus, because you always have a ram in the bush. And he allowed me to come into your life to see a real father figure. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm going to tell you, Pastor, I was ashamed because at that time I wasn't even living right. But I had to say, God, if this man that you said in my life mm. is going to be a father figure to me, I got to get some things right. Mm. Mm. All right. I can't be on the down low ah. doing my thing. Jesus. So Pastor, I just I say that to say I thank you for trusting in me. Yes. Who would never do that? God will allow me to be your armor bearer. Yes. Oh, God, Jesus. my God. Me? God. God. But God had no respectable person. That's, yes, right. That's right. That's right, man. And I thank God for you. Amen. Thank God. Amen. And I want to say to all the leaders and respectable faces, I honor you. I love you for the bottom of my heart. The bottom of my heart. And all God's people, mother, Barbara Willis, I love you. And Mother Miss Rickenbacker, 
I love you. And I also want to say I thank you from the bottom of my heart for the privilege and the opportunity to go on with y'all to bring Haven and speak Anytime. to the brothers. Amen. Amen. And Amen. I got to speak to my red. Because there's something about this room that's making me stay around. Come on. And you know what? I love every bit of it. I don't care what we go through. I'm going nowhere. You know what? Because I'll tell you something. The devil want me to leave because he want me to miss my... Come on. Come on. Say so. Say so. And... I'm not going to miss my purpose because you know what? God told me that he has a plan and a purpose for my life. Yes. I can't speak for nobody else. That's right. But for my life. Yes. And what I want to say to you, you pastor, Sister Angie Kelly, I thank you for allowing me to smile again. My God! What you say? What you say? I want one thing for Christmas. And I said, I want you to place a bowl on my wife and allow her and send her to me with the bowl on her. Show up. 